watching Take Two. All right, the Inner Island Travel Quarantine begins this morning, but this time around, it's a bit different. Dallas Antaveros joins us live from the Daniel K. Inouye International Airport with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Kelly and Ross. Well, it is a little bit different because as of right now, this will only go on until August 31st. But yes, it does start today, and it is in response to reduce the spread of the coronavirus. Now, as of right now, this applies to all of the Hawaiian Islands and goes on until August 31st. However, there is a point you need to know about when it comes to Oahu. Because if you are traveling to Oahu from a neighbor island, you do not have to do your quarantine when you arrive but you do have to do your 14-day state quarantine when you return. Now, another point that we've been talking about this morning are exemptions. Now, for the most part, all of the islands have their own set of rules on what is considered a modified quarantine, but it's mostly only for essential work or medical purposes. You know, each county is different, like Big Island, for example, where you could be exempted for same-day travel if it's medical or work-related purposes. But with all this being said, you know, knowing that this 14-day state inter-island quarantine is in place again, it brings light to another ongoing issue, and that's quarantine breakers. And even though we have reported tourists breaking the rules, it's actually locals as well. And sometimes it's a little bit more challenging, which is why we caught up with Angela Keene, who is the co-founder of Hawaii Quarantine Kapu Breakers, who gives us a little bit of insight on how this is going to be handled. Take a listen. People will say this. They know that they're not happy with it, but they know that the rates of COVID are skyrocketing and that we're spreading it at an alarming rate. And they're willing to stay home and do that if it means that it's keeping their neighbors safe. And once again, that was Angela Keene with Hawaii Quarantine Breakers giving us an idea on how it is very challenging to detect those locals who are breaking quarantine. But like I said, to see that full list of those different counties and those different rules, head over to our website at kh12.com before making plans because coming up in the next half hour, we're actually going to hear from a young couple who is relocating from Kauai to Molokai and their situation as well. So that's coming up for you here at live at the airport. But until then, Dallas Navarro's KH12 News working for Hawaii. Thank you very much, Dallas. Coming up 